Hello and welcome to our Finnovate Fall 25 and 5 video interview series. My name is David Penn. I'm a research analyst with Finnovate. Joining me today is Javier Chacon. He is the founder and CEO of Symbiotic. Javier, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, David. Thank you for having me. Yes, we're very happy to have you as part of our interview series and thrilled to have you as a part of Finnovate Fall coming up in just a, a few days. Uh, it's going to be fantastic to have you in New York uh, live as we return to live events uh, in New York uh, in September. So thanks for being very much a part of Finnovate Fall. Thank you, David. Um, well, we... we um, okay. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Yeah, I just wanted to go ahead before we got started, maybe if you could tell us just a little bit about Symbiotic before we start our questions. Ah, yeah, of course. Um, well, Symbiotic is a startup uh, that we develop a solution that uh, accepts payments, allows the people to accept payments with just a phone, you know, using contactless cards and things like that. So we are, um, it's a kind of disruptive technology that um, allows you just to accept payments. Uh, and, and that's a... Uh, um, with this, we can democratize um, and, and, and give the, all the people the opportunity to receive payments. Nowadays, you the, the, the companies can receive payments just with the point of sale, right? But with this technology, you can do the same thing, but just the phone. You do you do not need additional devices, I think, like that just the phone, and, and, and that's what you are presenting in this Finovate. Very interesting. And we're looking forward to seeing more of the technology at your demo at Finovate Fall. But before that, it's mm -hmm. time for 25 and 5. Are you ready to go? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Here we go, starting from the top. What's your favorite meal of the day? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Well, according to my wife, it must be the breakfast, but definitely my favorite is this lunch. <laughs> All right. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what would you say is your favorite season of the year? Uh, this, this summer, uh, for the freedom of the light, the weather, and definitely the summer. There's Summer's no doubt wonderful. about that. Alrighty. Uh, what's your favorite sport or recreational activity, either to participate in or just to watch? Yeah, it, it used to be soccer, but uh, recently I must confess that the surf is my favorite one. Ah, very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> uh, let's see. What's your favorite vacation spot or getaway? Well, at that point, there's no discussion here. Tamarindo in Costa Rica, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I believe yeah. that Costa Rica is beautiful. Uh, let's see. It's time to relax. Are you more likely to read a book or to listen to music? I have to read a book. In my case, definitely read a book. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you own a smartwatch? Well, no. I I do not use watch at all since many years ago. So, you know, uh, just my cell phone. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, that's uh, what means everything, you know. <laughs> yeah. I, so I'm the same way. Do you use a robo advisor for your own personal investing? Um, no, no, no. I trust in my intuition those kinds of decisions. So the answer in this case is no. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite mode of public transportation? Well, I think metro definitely. Um, metro by far. Um, well, when, when there are no flows, that like yesterday in New York City, but definitely metro. Except <laughs> <laughs> for the floods. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, do you own more in digital assets like Bitcoin or more in physical assets like gold? Well, I like um, all the digital things. In fact, I am a digital guy. But when electricity, fa when electricity fails, all the valuable things are the real things like land or gold. So in this case, my, my answer is gold. Ah, well put, well put. Uh, without naming names, what does your current bank do right? Well, they are very cautious in terms of, uh, you know, in all the processes and that makes me trust them. Uh, that's a very good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good thing. Uh, without naming names, what would you say that your current bank needs to do a little bit better though? Um, uh, yeah, I would, like, I would like to do everything at home uh, or anywhere but the bank. So they have to learn about that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah. Who is the most inspirational person in technology to you right now? Well, that, that's a difficult thing. You know, I, I, I like Edison and Jobs and many of them. But nowadays, I think Elon Musk, like, maybe. Because if I had the money he has, I would probably be investing on in the things he's investing now. So I think it's the, mo the role model for me now. Yeah, he's a good one. Uh, what's the best city for technology startups that nobody knows about yet? Uh, well, outside of the U.S., I think Santiago and Chile, they have a great uh, ecosystem for startups. 
But now in within you know in the US, I think Miami is growing now as the you know, one of the best cities to to have a startup. Yes, that's a great picks. Miami and Santiago, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, what would you say is your most unpopular or controversial technology <clears throat> opinion? Well, I think that robots and AI must can, can replace all the operative thing, tasks and, and repetitive tasks, and that's kind of controversial for some people. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but I, I really think I really believe in that. Yeah, excellent. Uh, what would you be doing for a living if you weren't involved in symbiotic? Yeah. Um, Definitely not lawyer, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but maybe something related to design, uh, maybe architect or mechatronic or things like that. Oh, wow, that sounds interesting. Uh, well, let's talk a little bit about Symbiotic. What would you say your, your problem uh, that your company solves and who does it solve it for? Well, we, this is for acceptance business. Uh, in, the, in the credit card business, there are a couple, two sides, right? The cars and the point of sales. We work on the point of sales. And then um, that we, what we do is uh, we build a solution that allows the people to accept payments with contactless cards and, and wallets and Apple Pay and Google Pay, all those things. Uh, and we are on the acceptance side. With just a phone, you can accept payments, uh, not only transfers, EFT or something like other solutions. Uh, we just, you can just take your phone and approach the card to the phone. And we, just with that, you can accept the payment. That's what we do. Fantastic. What would you say is the most unique aspect of your company's technology? Well, we have we have many many things, uh, but I, would, I can mention just a couple. Um, one is that we are using artificial intelligence in our solution of payments. So that's something new. It's not more, just the payment process itself. We are adding more user experience and, and, and artificial intelligence. Is one of the things. And the other thing is a, is a kind of a fact that we are uh, currently. The only company with the CPOC certification, PCI CPOC certification, in, in the continent so far. So um, it's a kind of advantage now. Absolutely. Uh, what would you say is the most important thing when it comes to building a strong team? Well, I, definitely there are many things, um, but I think that just three three values or three words. Uh, the first one is loyalty, definitely, competence, uh, and trust. That all those, if you have all those two things, you can be a really strong team, definitely. Oh, excellent. What is your biggest professional takeaway from 2020, the year we just had? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that, um, well, maybe that to be successful or at least survive is more a decision than a circumstance. Mm. Yeah. Maybe philosophical, yeah, but that's important. You know, that's what I think. <laughs> yeah, no, that's very interesting, very interesting. Uh, where do you see your company in the next two or three years? Well, we, we are planning to grow uh, here in the US. Um, and then um, we want many people know about our company and our solutions and, and, and also be serving to many banks or payment facilitators and other organizations in at least three continents. So we have, we have uh, big goals. Wonderful. Uh, let's go back to a few personal questions. Are you a cat person, a dog person, neither or both? Well, neither. Uh, it's difficult <laughs> for me even to take care of myself, you know? So <laughs> that, that's why I think that, that the answer is neither. <laughs> All righty, sounds fine. Yeah. Uh, here's a tricky one. If you were a famous artist, would you more likely be a novelist slash writer, an actor slash director, or a singer slash musician? Probably more a writer or a director than, than the others. You know, it's okay. more it's not just strategy and you know tell the story than being in front of it. That that's that maybe director is the best fit for me. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, what's your favorite holiday of the year? Uh, Christmas. There's no discussion uh, here. Uh, <laughs> you know, for the gifts, the family reunions, food, and everything, the celebration. Um, definitely Christmas. Yeah, that's a hard one to beat. Uh, what would you say that you're looking forward to most this year in your personal life? Um, well, uh, in, in, in my personal life, I think uh, do my best to be a better person than, than last year. I think mm -hmm. uh, you know, try to improve and make better decisions and try to be a good person, things like that. Yeah, no, that's an excellent yeah. goal. Uh, and last but not least, what's your favorite thing about being a part of Finnovate Fall here in 2021? Um, well, I like challenges. Um, being part of 
of one of the most important innovation event of the world. It's, it's a great thing, definitely. Um, to know you know people uh, and show what we're doing, uh, what we have been doing to the people and, and, and you know receive feedback and and and, and see uh, all the potential, all the things that we can do and and, and, and see all, what is happening around the world because so many people come to show what they are doing. So it's a great thing. You, you know you when when you um, come to the Finnaway and then you go back at home, you have a lot of new ideas in your head. So that, that's a, that's a very good thing. You know, it's like a refresh of the of the view of the world. Definitely. Oh, very interesting and well put. Well, thank you very much for being a part of Finnovate Fall and thank you for being a part of our 25 and 5 interview series. Thank you for having me, David. Excellent. And we look forward to seeing you in a few days in September. Yeah, yeah. September so the 13th at 2 p.m. You can see our demo and, 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 and see you at, see uh, our, our stand and we can show you all what we have doing and, and, and uh, you know, we are trying to conquer the world, right? <laughs> Sounds good. That's good. Well, thanks again for being a part of our series. And again, we're very much looking forward to seeing you in just a few days in New York for Finnovate Fall. Have a great day, David. Thank you very much. You too.